standards, and they're my questions now too. Number one, when are we going to start dealing with the major problems in this country? This Could I? This is 10 years now. We are war weary. You talked about Iraq. We went into Iraq. Iraq is as big a mess now as it was back then. Yes, so sir. we obviously did not fix that one. So that's number one. Could I answer that one first? Sure. And we'll go to number two very quickly. There's no doubt that the economy is, a, is an issue that is transcendent to all. And these were in the longest, deepest recession since the Great Depression and it especially hurt Arizona because of its impact on our housing market. So I understand your priority. If I thought that the conflict was going to be confined to Syria, I would feel somewhat differently than I do. This is spreading. Nuclear weapons are spreading. Iran is building nuclear weapons as we speak. North Korea has nuclear weapons. They watch us do nothing. I guarantee you they will be encouraged. And if the entire Middle East is involved in this conflict, you're going to see the price of oil go up uh, to astronomical uh, amounts. So there is a threat to America's national security on this issue. Now, we may disagree, but that's my response to your first question. Now, give me your second question. Uh, really, uh, Senator really Sanders, well. second uh, question is, there is no guarantee that this is going to have any positive effect in fact, it could just make it worse, as we have done in Iraq. You know, you mentioned how, for instance, uh, Saudi Arabia is helping us, as if that is a reliable outlet. Right. Many people, myself included, see it as the most reactionary regime in that whole region. And there are yes. Start, start to support real peace Here's and not war. Let's let's make peace, not war. I think all of us share it. But I think that if you look at the situation that exists today, we have a plane load of arms and weapons coming in every day from Russia. A plane load of arms coming in every day for Bashar Assad from Iran every day. There's 4,000 Hezbollah, the most extreme Muslims that there are from Lebanon that are now fighting on the side of Bashar Assad. We have the Iranian Revolutionary Guard on the side of Bashar Assad. We have hundreds of those people. My friend, it is not a fair fight. And that's the problem. It is not a fair fight. So if you want, I'm not, I am not calling for American engagement or a single boot on the ground. I am saying that throughout our history, we have helped people who are struggling for freedom. And this is another case of that. Go ahead, so, sir. We, go ahead with your third kit. We have a war by proxy in that no, country right now. Yes, we have a war by proxy. The Saudi Arabians, the Saudi Arabians, Arabians, the Saudi Arabians no, are Arabians. pumping arms into that yes. country along with the other Gulf states, and many of those have gotten into the arms of Al Qaeda. So they I have never had problems. The arms have not gone into the arms of Al Qaeda. But go ahead. The third point, sir, that Bernie Sanders made, and maybe the most important, is that increasingly around the world, we are seen as a reckless lawless nation, bent on empire, not on the rule of law. When are we going to start to stand up for the rule of law? Well, we got the United States is viewed as weak and vacillating and unreliable. That's how the United States is viewed today. And they will be continued to view that way if we allow weapons of mass destruction to be continued to be used without response. Yes, ma'am, all the way in the back. Yes, and then I'll go up here. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Wait till we get a hand. Mike. 